Hello YouTube, what is up? This is Dwight Swamper here to bring you the final part of Mega Man X3. Wait, no, not the final part. Um, no, but we're getting close there. Um, so last time we took on, we took on Blast Hornet, we got the last of the items, and we began Dr. Doppler's stage. Stages. So now we're gonna fit, we're gonna do some more. Yeah, it's not the finale just yet. <laughs> oh, trust me, uh, you'll know it's the finale when I start screaming bloody murder. And yes, I do mean bloody murder. If you're wondering why would I be screaming bloody murder, you obviously haven't played it yet. Alright, come on. Alright, come on. There we go. Ah, shit, they adjust. They adjust their aim to focus on you. Alright, come on. Nailed it. Alright. Alrighty, here we go. We're in the door. Walking in the doorway. Okay, so watch out, vampire robot. And yes, I do mean vampire robot. It's Shade Man before Shade Man. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay away. I don't know how to get this guy off me, so you're gonna have to waste an E-Tank here. Alright, so... Shit. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, and he's owned. Okay, so fun fact. If, you're, if you manage to do everything in the game... Including beating Vile with his weakness, and pretty much managed to do everything. Thing, the stage will not only be like this, but you will also be able to fight this boss as Zero. And if you defeat him as Zero, he will wind up nearly killing Zero as part of a last dish, you know, desperation maneuver. Um, if you do that, there's a great benefit in it for you. Trust me. If you let him, there's a great benefit for you. You do not, however, get the best ending. But then again, considering that this game should practically be non-canon, um, or at least it's very close to being non-canon, I don't think that hurts things much. Alright. To be fair, I probably should have fought that boss with Vile, but I want to fight fight the final boss the honorable way. With the X-Buster. Oh, I'm going to regret that. Trust me. Oh, we're... The time of our demise is drawing near, gentlemen! Alright, so this is an incredibly slow-moving area here, so just be patient. And you can't jump on the platform. You can't jump on the side of the spikes either. That counts as a death. Oh, Jesus, I'm letting this guy hump the wall. You know, this is incredibly uh, disturbing. Quit raping the wall! Jesus Christ! Yeah, watch out when you're dashing over there, because you can die. Trust me. And it's very not pretty. Uh, okay, that was worthless. Thanks, I said only to throw you off. Alright. Alrighty. Here we go. The boss of this room. Oh, looks like there's no boss. <laughs> oh, no, we're underwater. Never mind. And I have no damn clue what this asshole's weakness is. So, fire everything! Okay, looks like his weakness is Triad Thunder. Use Triad Thunder. Meet your new best friend, Triad Thunder. And wow, okay, this guy puts up minimal resistance. I mean, this guy is easier than the first boss. You'd think it'd be getting harder as you went deeper into his base, but apparently not. Wow, okay, that was a cakewalk. Like, I was not expecting the boss to be that easy. By the power of Triad Thunder! <laughs> Seriously, oh my god, that was... That was pathetic! 
Alright, so now we get to code. And now we can move on. Alright, so it's time for the obligatory boss rush sequence. Ah, yes, the boss rush sequence. So go down here. Open up this door and boom, boss rush. Alright, so enjoy the... What theme should I use? Um... No, I already used X Hunted. Um, hang on, I'm trying to think this through here. Um, um, enjoy this remix of the X vs Zero theme from X Five done by Brias, or however you pronounce it. Enjoy. I will be back to you as soon as we do this. Okay, we are back, baby. All right, so let's uh, grind some more stuff here. Oh, okay, we can't grind anymore. All righty, let's take on the boss of this room, the actual boss. By the way, I think I may have to extend the remix just a bit, so... Um, hmm. What song would I use after that? Hmm. Well, the X vs. Zero theme from Brias. Um... What would I use? Probably a Dr. Wily Castle remix theme, so enjoy that. Alright, come on. Alrighty. Alright. Let's see. What's his weakness? Uh, oh yeah, Acid Burst. There we go. Alright, so the boss of this room is... Dr. Doppler! I've been waiting for you, X. I'm Dr. Doppler, see? <laughs> I've been here watching your battles closely. Your victories over my men have been most impressive. I need superior reploids like yourself, X. I offer you the chance to join us. 
together. We shall build a utopia where the reptoids will rule under the watchful eyes of Sigma, see? Our lord and master, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> see? <laughs> no way, Doc! Your scheme... Your schemes end here and now. Okay, for some reason I trans his, his voice transformed. His voice chip is off. Perhaps you are not as smart as I once thought, see. Prepare to be ripped apart and be born as, again as part of the new body of Sigma, see. And mysterious power core. Background shit is backgroundy. Alright, so Dr. Doppler has one really, really weird strategy that will throw you off your game. And that is, he can heal himself. If you hit him while he's attempting to attack you, he will heal himself. Needless to say, it does kind of throw you off. Especially with the acid burst, which is his weakness, and it basically uh, it, can, it does lasting damage, so if you hit him with the acid burst while he's uh... If you hit him with the acid burst and it's still trying to damage him while he's uh, healing, it will heal him. So, yeah, whenever he pulls out that green energy shield, watch out. My recommendation, wait until he's mid-attack and then attack him. It's your best chance. Because otherwise he'll just do that and heal himself. It does throw you off your game, a boss that can use your own attacks to heal himself. I'll admit, it is. it kind of shocked me when I first played it, but once you get it down, you'll be fine. All right, wait for him to power up. Let's hit nothing. There we go. All right, there we go. All right. One last hit. Let's transfer back to uh, Golden Axe. Just to humiliate him. No, don't heal him. Don't heal him. Alright, one last shot. There we go. Down for the count. Yeah, I just realized, uh, Mega Man X is cosplaying as see-through people here. <laughs> you are strong, X. Strong enough to defeat Sigma. See. Doctor. Doppler. Can you talk? Seriously? Come on, Zero, to teleport and slap him to the head. No, he can't, idiot. That's why he just talked. Sigma's true form is that of a computer virus. Ellipses. See, I was corrupted by him, and see, I created him a horrific new body for him. See, where's the body now? It's in the underground anger of this lab. See, I don't think Sigma has occupied it yet. See, don't worry about me. Destroy the body before it is too late. See. Time is running out, see. Thanks, Doc. Look at Doffler, he looks so humiliated, like <laughs> Oh, he looks like a poor little puppy, actually. I feel kinda bad for him. Alright, time for the final stage. It turns out we can actually do the final stage. Uh, uh, apparently I was lying when I said this wasn't the finale. I apologize for that. <laughs> Alright, so if you just go through all this. Oh, hey Zero. I'll go ahead and destroy the power generator. X, you go upstairs and destroy Sigma's body. <laughs> he come back from that candlelit di dinner. <laughs> <I'm g> <laughs> you go do that. I'm going home. <laughs> Alright, we gotta wait here. I'm sorry, I have a ten bad tendency to laugh at myself, even when the shit I say isn't that funny. Why do we want to wait here to recharge? Well, let me put it like this. This boss is hard. Fucking hard. In fact, so hard, I'm going to do something I haven't done yet for this game. I'm going to save state. Yeah, I'm using save states here. This boss is that fucking hard. And that's something I rarely do do in this game. Let the fear sink in. Like I said back in my X1 commentary about a year ago, this is the hardest boss. This is by far the hardest X boss. 
It was... Oh, sorry. It was easy to turn out that fool Doppler. And I would have succeeded if you hadn't interfered. You and your damn dog. You and that dog. Roof! <laughs> but we are always destined to meet, aren't we, X? Let the eternal struggle begin! Oh boy, understatement of the decade. Alright, so, Spinning Blade. You want to use Spinning Blade on him? Spinning Blade be his weakness for this. And oh boy, he is hard. He is hard as balls. Seriously. You better be prepared for an ass whipping. Okay, use sub tanks. For the love of God, don't be afraid to use your sub tanks. He kind of looks like a sniper Joe, actually. Uh, <laughs> just gonna say that now. But yeah, he operates a lot like Captain America. Boy, that's something I've been able to say. All right. Well, as anyone who's played this game before is familiar with, this isn't the end. Nope. It's only begun. Oh, by God, it has only begun. Ladies and gentlemen! Well done, X. But I'm far stronger than my previous forms. Behold the power of the ultimate battle body. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Kaiser Sigma. Same state. When I said this is the hardest X boss, this is what I meant. This. This abomination. It looks like the designer started developing and then never stopped. Okay, so what makes this boss so damn hard? Well, easy. You can only hit. He's fucking huge, but you can only hit him in one spot. What spot? The head. See that tiny little hitbox? Yeah, you've got to hit that. Best of luck. You're going to need it. He does actually take the same form as X. Uh, yeah. He's really fucking hard to hit. He is perhaps... He is considered by many, myself included, to be the hardest boss in the X in the SNES PlayStation games. What? In the uh, SNES X games. He's that hard. Because of Kaiser. Because he has such a difficult hitbox. He, he also kind of looks like the uh, designer just stopped to... He, he start, sat down, started designing the final boss, and didn't fucking stop. He also has a massive fuck you laser gun, which, uh, be careful when he uses that, because that's a massive, massive attack. And like I said, do not be afraid to use your sub tanks. Oh god, don't be afraid. But, uh, yeah. Trust me, this guy is fucking hard. Imagine trying to fight this guy without any sub tanks. Luckily, uh, his fuck you beam does destroy his own shit, so that's... If there's any consolation, take that. Okay, come on, come on. Alright, final sub-tank. If I can't beat him with this, then, uh, we're fucked. <laughs> Wait, hang on. One last charge. I beat him. Without... Dying! I... I beat him without dying. This Sigma was harder than this! N no It can't be! I can't even defeat you with this magnificent body! Yeah, I'm surprised too! I was honestly expecting to pull my hair out. There seems to be only one choice now. I'll possess you! Wait, what? Yep. Virus Sigma is back, and he's out to take your body. Uh, don't let him. So, what? how terrifying is this boss? 
Well, it's not actually a boss. It's an outrun the lava segment. Yes, you're trying to outrun lava. Good thing you got that double jump from Dr. Light. Thanks, Dr. Light. No problem, Max. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> oh boy, this shit... This shit's gotta be giving me a fucking migraine. And he just disappeared, okay. Alright. Done. Yeah, that's the end of the game. Damn, it's a dead end. Whoa, X. Watch the potty mouth. Whoa, 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 I'm dizzy. Ha ha ha, give up, X. I'll possess your body and rule the whole world. Why did you just do this to begin with? It'd been so much easier. But, fuck you, I'm zero. <laughs> Gar, you're zero. I thought you were at a candlelit dinner. I distracted. I thought you were distracted. It's you again. How do you like that, Sigma? I picked up an anti-Sigma virus program from Doppler and and used it on my beam saber. Sorry about the delay, X. I thought the program might be the only thing that would work against Sigma. My... My program is disappearing! But someday I will. No. Yeah. And presumably Sigma declares the ultimate blood vengeance against Zero, leading into what happens in X4. And... As you might have realized, uh... What happens in this game has no real effect. In fact, actually, no one ever mentions what happens in X3 ever again. It has no effect on any of the characters. And... We get... The exact same fucking ending as last time. Okay. Ugh. Mr. Narrator, time for your big roll. X has crushed Sigma's plan once again. But many questions still occupy his mind. Did I leave the oven on? On? Is Doctor Who recording? Why must humans fight against Reploids? And why must Reploids fight against each other? <laughs> God damn it! Like I said, it's the same fucking ending! As X stares at the burning rem remnants of Doctor's. <laughs> doctor. Uh, sorry, of Doppler's lap, his body trembles from an unknown sorrow. It's like a million voices cried out all at once, and then were suddenly silenced. What does fate have in store for me, he wonders. That's a very good question, actually. We never know. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's gonna get killed by a dude in a pink trench coat. He can only hope that Sunday, Dr. Light, doctor Light's plan for him will finally be revealed. Nope! You die through by a guy with a pink trench coat. Unknown to X, his destiny has already been decided. You will go pick up Destiny X. To save mankind, he must destroy Zero. Wait, what the fuck? Um, okay. Spoiler alert. But only time will tell when and why. Is that it? And you kind of just spoil the rest of the X Games. Nice going there, jackasses. <laughs> Zero's right at X like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, no. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm not taking that. Get back here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, I think the true reason why Zero is chase uh is running after X is because he's pissed at saving X cost him that date. Luckily he did totally get that check's number though. <laughs> Drill Wang Victoroid customer. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> giant Mechanoloid. Mal the giant. Mac. No power level. They're like rabbits. <laughs> so Reddit. Ah, Hellcrusher. 
Rex. Alright, so that was Mega Man X. That was Mega Man X3. How was it? It's okay. Honestly, you can skip this game. Like, you can skip this game and you will literally miss nothing. Like, no plot, no story elements emerge in this game. Well, actually, no, X5 is spoiled. Spoiled, so there's that. Yeah, by the way, that occurs in X5. Um, actually, it's a mistranslation. In the original Japanese version, it's supposed to be He Much Must Fight Zero, which, yeah, it definitely sees a lot more foreboding, <laughs> you know? He Must Fight Zero. But, yeah, that was... It's okay. I mean... Okay, granted, the final boss is not nearly as hard as I made him out to be. Um, that was... That was surprising. What? Was, was the game make... Was the series making up for the fact that I got my ass beat to Wolf Sigma? I mean, what the hell? I had the easier time against Wolf Sigma, but... When I'm out peeing, I had the easier time against Wolf Sigma. Harder time against Wolf Sigma, and the easier time against Kaiser Sigma! Uh, but ultimately, the bosses are forgettable. X takes way too much damage in the beginning, which can hurt newcomers. I and mean, I don't mind enemies that do damn it, do high amounts of damage, but not every enemy doing damage. The bosses compensate for this, however, by being extremely fucking repetitive, repetitive in their patterns, and uh, it's just ultimately boring. That's what this game is. It's boring. It's an unnecessary addition to the X franchise. Franchise. A not the best way to end the series on Super Nintendo, and definitely not the best way to introduce the series on PlayStation. Yeah, there's a PlayStation version of this game. Bet you didn't know that. Yeah, there's also a Sega Saturn version of this game. Oh, sorry, and there's also going to be a 32. There is also going to be a. Uh, God, what's the one system? 30. Uh, no, not 32X. Uh, the Panasonic. Uh, the Panasonic 3DO. There's supposed to be a 3DO version of this game. This game was supposed to be on every fucking console, man, at the time. Why X3, though, is my question. But, hey, if you want some enhanced music, um, then play through X3. Then play uh, X3 on the PlayStation. But, personally, I think you could skip it. And, nope, nope, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Kaiser Sigma is not faster than regular Sigma. Actually, regular Sigma gave me a harder time. Uh, but, with that all said and done, at the end of the day, just don't play this one. If this is your first, if you're looking for a game, for the first, uh, game, if you're looking for your first Mega Man X game, this is not the game to play. X2 or X1, or hell, X4. But we haven't covered X4 yet. So, ultimately, so, um, at the end, oh, sorry. So ultimately, next time we meet up in the X series, it's gonna be Mega Man X4 for the PlayStation. Yeah, we're making a jump into the 32-bit consoles. Enhanced music, enhanced graphics, just enhanced everything, and a better game than this. But as much as I don't like the game, I still had to cover it. So, yeah. With that being said, it's been the Wait to Smile Bringer saying you like this Let's Play. Please be sure to comment, like, rate, and subscribe. Subscribe. Check me out on Twitter if you haven't yet, and. That's all I gotta say. It's X3. See you guys next. See you guys for the next game. Which, um. Shit, I do not know what game I'm going to do next. I'm kind of feel like doing Metroid. But I don't want to do the original one. I want to do Zero Mission. So I need to get a Game Boy player. I need to either emulate the game or get a Game Boy player for my GameCube and a, uh. Game Boy player for my GameCube and a freaking copy of Zero Mission. But, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time. Peace out.